Well, hey, gang, how you doing? It's Jonathan again for Tail Hunter International. Time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz video fishing report, and this is going to cover all of the fishing action for the Tail Hunter Sport Fishing Fleet here in La Paz, Baja, Mexico. And this is going to cover the past week of the 28th of April until well, Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Uh, hope you're doing well. Thanks for checking in. Excuse me if my eyes are a little bit blurry this morning. It's early in the morning, but wanted to get the fishing report out to you real quick and let you know what's been going on. We had another pretty decent week of fishing. And let me tell you, um, some really good things happening out there. A lot of action. Now, i tell you something else. There would have been a lot more pictures in the fishing report this weekend, but you know, it's hard to put pictures up when fish don't get in the boat or get on the beach so we can take photos of them. There was a lot of action, as I mentioned, but you know, we lost a lot of fish. There's some big yellowtail out there. Lost some amberjack, lost some cabrilla. A lot of the fishing going on right now is right over the rocks, right over these reefs, right over the shallow areas. And when I say it's shallow, I'm talking about being able to see the bottom. Literally, the rocks are right under the boat. You can see some of these big pargo, some of these cabrilla. You can see them right there. People ask all the time, how far do we have to go out to get big fish? I'm talking 20, 30, 40, 50 pound fish right there under the boat. So a fish bites your bait, boom, you don't have much chance or, or much of an opportunity to lean back on that rod, high stick it, and lift this fish out of the rocks before it takes you down. These things got, you know, sharp teeth, sharp gills, sharp, sharp everything. So you got a lot going against you. So it wasn't a lack of action. Fishing was good. Catching, yeah, not so good because we lost so many fish. Uh, so there would have been many more pictures. So it looks like we didn't do as well, but a lot of folks had some good times. We got pargo, we got cabrilla, some yellow tail caught. We got a couple more of those nice rooster fish. So things are picking up. We also got some bigger dorado this week. We lost some dorado as well. So things are happening. The better, more or more action fishing should, I should say, is around the Las Arenas area. Those rocky areas around Punta Perico, the south end of Cerralvo Island. Uh, those are all very, very productive right now for some of these really big pargo cabrilla, uh, amberjack, jack crevel. There's bonita running all around, so there's no shortage of action. And on the uh, with our La Paz fleet on the other side, moving out toward Espiritu Santo Island, there's not only some big, huge bonita, but we're also seeing some nicer dorado. And we continue to see marlin. Now, there comes a time when the marlin are there, but they're just not hungry yet. They kind of wait, you know, like when you when you go to the church bazaar and you win one of these goldfish and they put it in the plastic bag and then you bring it home and you have to put it in the aquarium for a little while and let it get acclimated. Well, that's what happens with these marlin, these sailfish that come up. They come and you can see them sitting on the surface, but you can literally run over them with your panga. Boom, boom, boom. What was that? It was a marlin, and you see the marlin swim away. They're not ready to eat yet, but the water temperature, when it changes, when it comes up just a couple degrees, suddenly you can't keep them away. They're following the boats around. Guys will come back and go, I hooked three of these things. I don't want to hook a marlin. I want something I can, I can take home to eat, and I don't want to do a marlin, nor do I want to be on a fish for an hour or two hours or three hours, especially on light tackle. So we're seeing the marlin. I think they're going to be popping. I know a lot of folks want to want to you know check it off the bucket list so they're there it's going to happen the dorado are coming on waters are warming conditions are improving and a lot more fishermen coming down uh in the coming weeks as we kick into the season so fingers crossed we're looking forward to having everybody coming down uh, this is jonathan for tail hunter international and your mexican minute la paz video fishing report god bless thanks for checking in you take care of each other we'll see you next week